Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and this is a quick video regarding the website update. Now on the website there is a new area where you can vote on video suggestions. The suggestions list contains video ideas that I want to do at some point, and by voting on them you can help me decide which videos to prioritize. You have three buttons to vote, essentially you can give each suggestion either three votes, one vote, or a minus one vote. At the end of the page, you have a text box where you can submit your own suggestions, and if it's something that I believe I can do it, I'll add it to the list. The list is sorted by votes, with the most voted on top. Once I manage to make a video on a voted suggestion, I'll remove it from the list and add another section at the bottom of the page. Hopefully, in a couple of months, you'll be able to see a lot of suggestions that were already turned into videos, and all of it thanks to your votes. So, head to the page and vote on the suggestions that you want to see. I look forward to seeing the results. My long-term goal with the website is to be the best place possible for learning programming and Unity. I want to develop interactive features so that you can learn in the best way possible. Maybe some interactive programming exercises or some quizzes related to the video contents. Maybe some type of documentation answering questions like what is a game object or what are design patterns. So, with that in mind, are there any learning features that you would like to see on the website? Do you have other places where you are currently learning programming in Unity? Do you like multiple choice quizzes? Maybe visual scripting? Would you find useful a documentation list regarding various programming and Unity concepts with related videos? What are your biggest issues when it comes to learning? Post in the comments and with your help, the website will indeed one day be the best place possible for learning, programming and Unity. I've also started sending out a newsletter highlighting recent videos. If you are signed up, you should have received the email. It's a simple email and you can go to your user area to select how often you wish to receive it. The default is one email per week containing that week's videos. So, if you're worried about YouTube not notifying you when new videos go live, this is a way to catch up and see what you might have missed. And also, many thanks to you for watching these videos. I started this project not knowing if it was going to amount to anything, but the response has been extremely positive. I hope you find a lot of value in these videos, and I hope they help you on your own game development journey. If you have a friend who is also interested in game development, send them the video that helped you the most. So go ahead, vote on suggestions, and post in the comments your thoughts on more learning features. Alright, see you next time!